I can never remember how to create a course bundle. <laughs> it's one of those things that just my mind doesn't grapple with. And if you look at teachable support, look, it's interesting, but it doesn't actually ever tell you that you have to create a separate course that is your bundle course. So the course itself is a bundle. You don't go collecting all the courses and put them in something separate called a bundle. You just create a new course and then bundle the other courses into it. So let's have a look and see how to do that. I need to create a new course uh, for a workshop I'm running next week, which is for local government. And I want to give local government some of my courses here, plus a couple of my unpublished courses and put them all in a bundle. So I go here to a new course and I say um, local government council bundle and tub subtitle would be all you need to know. I'm not going to fill this all in you guys who know how to fill in subtitles and descriptions. I'm sure you've done courses before. Then I click create course. Now this course is going to be empty. There's nothing in the curriculum. When I get to course content, I'm going to ignore it. I go to bundle contents on the left hand side. And I say that they can have the strategy course. And they can have the campaign course. And they can have, now I can't add courses that are already bundles, so I have to be careful. Automate and auto schedule, something like that. So now I've added three courses. I'll give you a couple of tips. If you create a course and you don't publish it, it's a private course. So sometimes I like to say in my bundled contents, you get three of my published courses, plus you get an additional course you can't get anywhere else and that course is then added into the bundle so they can see it and then go wow great I get an extra course that isn't generally available and normally for an industry I try to make it industry that that particular unpublished course industry specific so it might be Facebook for schools or it might be Twitter for local government or that's my course is my my genre you need to pick something for your audience it just means that there would be a fourth course here that would be a private course and i would add that course and it would only show up to the people who are part of the bundle because it's an unpublished course unpublished courses are not the same as unpublished lectures unpublished lectures means only you can see it you're working on it it's in draft an unpublished course you can still sell you can still have students you can still do everything with it it's just not listed publicly on your course page i'm pretty sure google can't find it or doesn't ignores it whatever um, so it becomes like a private course that's what an unpublished course is and then pretty well everything else now is normal um, I've added my bundle, I go to price, I put in several million dollars. <laughs> you can still do any pricing you want. So another reason for bundling is that you might have a set price, a one-time purchase price for each course, but you might decide that all the courses together need a payment plan. You've got three months to pay, $50 a month or something, or you might choose all your courses and say, you can get all my courses on a subscription, a monthly subscription or annual subscription. Um, and you might make a, a bundle free. So I might make it free. And then when I finish, if I keep it unpublished, it doesn't mean that people um, I can't give the link to people. It just means that it's not showing up on my dashboard, public dashboard anymore. So if I preview the sales page, 
it's there everything's there the courses are there the original price was 249 but it's now free and you can leave that as a private course um, just take that link and I can send that on to people you know let me go into incognito mode just top right hand corner go to private mode and now I'm viewing my course as if I'm not logged in at all and that's what people would see or I can go in and change it and give it a price and give it a heading image you know how to set up your courses but that's how you bundle a course I hope you found it useful let me know if you've got any more questions